My name is Quinte van Duin. I'm the International Partnership Manager of Dopper. So Dopper's mission is to choose reusable over single-use plastics. And that's why we started with the Dopper Wave. Uh, that's our mission program. And we're engaging individuals and organizations basically to choose not to use single-use plastics and start using reusables. Um, it starts with a pledge uh, and that's a conscious choice saying, hey, I'm not using any single-use plastics anymore. I have lived abroad for uh, over 10 years in, in different places like Bolivia and China and everywhere you go you find beautiful places but also trash. So when I came back to the Netherlands I actually was looking for like, uh, like an organization who had a similar mission. Uh, Dapper was founded in 2009 by Marijn Everaert and he was actually walking on the beach in, uh, in Bloemendaal uh, here nearby. Um, and after a long summer day, uh, he was sitting on the dunes uh, watching all the plastic litter on the beach and basically thinking by himself, okay, now these huge trucks will come and basically collect all the, all the plastics. But exactly that didn't happen. The wind came, uh, all the plastics was blown into the sea and basically taken away. And that happens every day, uh, day in, day out. And Basically there he said, okay, I want to do something about it and create positive change. Um, together with a group of uh, entrepreneurs, he uh, came up with a solution like, okay, what if we create the perfect water bottle as a statement saying, hey, I drink tap water and with that I prevent daily a huge amount of plastics com uh, coming into our oceans. Uh, and that's basically when, uh, uh, how, basically when the bottle was created and from there on we went on a huge mission uh, preventing um, now over 75 million kilograms of plastics already from existing. Um, and Lito is helping us sharing our educational materials. So we created this toolkit, uh, which consists of different materials such, such as posters, flyers, an interactive video, uh, but also like awareness um, uh, awareness materials. So the asset management and the create and publish uh, of, of Lito really helps us personalize these materials to all these different uh, um, communities. Um, for, so for example the, the pledge of course is, is a single material but we need to change all the information on it uh, so, such as company information, the signatures etc. And the create, a, uh, create and publish um, components within Lito actually enables us to do that in a, uh, in a very easy way. Of course, we're already on this mission for over 10 years. Um, but before we started Lito, uh, we actually used a different server. Um, and that meant that we were um, organizing our materials uh, yeah, by ourselves, uh, as in like we didn't have the interesting features like, like for example tags and that's maybe like an easy one to give. But that meant that every time we wanted to create something and that could be for a social media post but also like an update for our website or even share something with an external party, uh, we were actually, we had to know where these materials were and uh, we had to, basically to spend uh, an hour like finding materials, not being able to find it, like go to our creative our, or our, our operations manager, help, like, <laughs> like where is this uh, asset? And that's actually where Lito really saved us a lot of time and helped us out uh, organizing these assets. Uh, so as an asset manager, um, we can put tax to all these uh, assets, but also uh, create uh, collectives so we can create collectives for the right departments or, uh, or teams, but also share these collectives with externals uh, where we see fit. So within Lito, we set up these different collections for all these different types of assets. And after individuals or organizations uh, sign up for the Double Wave pledge, um, they get access to our toolkit, and these toolkits directly link to the shared co uh, collections within Lito. With signing up for the pledge, we created like an automated flow. Uh, so if you, uh, if you as an individual organization signed up, uh, we make these personalized materials with the creative and published module uh, of Lito. And so that's why all the organizations get their individualized pledges, for example. And that really helps to engage also their communities uh, with our mission. So for us, the biggest gain of actually using Lito is instead of looking for hours for, for our assets, we know where to find them. Um, and upfront, we know how to sort them, tag them and organize them. And that actually is what makes for us the platform so useful.